Hey everyone, how's it going? Garrett Helsel here with Vox Direct. Hope you're having a great day. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about our virtual receptionists today. So if you go to your Vox Direct uh, dashboard at manage.voxdirect.com, you'll see this page. And in here, you've got some navigation, some options of things that you can do. Uh, in here, you see your receptionists. Now, depending on the plan that you have with Vox Direct will determine how many virtual receptionists you can have. My demo account, only has one. Uh, the one that I run for my business has uh, like seven or eight because uh, I need a lot of, of virtual receptionists because I do some pretty interesting things. So uh, when it comes to managing your receptionist, uh, there's a couple of things you can do. Your greeting. When someone calls you, what are they going to hear? Uh, well, right here, I've set up a, an example. Uh, there's also defaults uh, that are automatically set in there. It'll say, welcome to your company. And then it'll go into a little bit more detail as well as uh, your, your options in terms of pressing one or two or et cetera. Now, whenever, whatever you type in here uh, will be spoken by a uh, text-to-speech uh, program. You can choose many different languages. Uh, you can choose uh, different voices. Uh, so you'll hear male, female, how fast or slow they say these things. And uh, yeah, pretty cool right there. Uh, my preference is voice recording. I always like for my customers to hear my voice, knowing that it's a personal connection. So what you do is you press the, the record button. It'll ask you for a phone number. As you can see here, I enter my phone number and then press call me. They will call my phone. I'll answer and it'll instruct me what I can do in order to set up the welcome message. Now, that's really, really helpful as long as you make sure that you stay on script. Let's say that you also have uh, access to maybe some better hardware, a nicer mic. Uh, you can also upload an audio file. If you're tech savvy, uh, you can record it, you can play with it in Audacity or some other audio uh, program, audio manipulation program, make it sound as professional and crisp as you'd like. And then you upload it right here. We accept many different file forms, MP3, WAVE, I think it's AIFF is also accepted. Um, there's quite a few options there, but here's where the real, uh, the real fun comes around, right? Uh, when you get into managing the virtual receptionist, there's uh, a lot of things you can do. Just make sure that whatever the message here says reflects what's going on here in the menu. You want to make sure that those things uh, line up so that you don't get any confusion. Now, what are the things you can do? Well, you can connect to an extension. There's another video about how to make and manage your extensions. If uh, you want to click that, uh, probably right below me, there, there should be a card. And then uh, moving on, you can also have a phone number. You can direct it to a specific phone number if you'd like. You can have it connect to voicemail. Um, and these are all individual actions. So based off of the button press, whenever somebody presses one, what happens? Well, it connects to an extension, it connects to my extension, um, but I could also have it connect to other things. Now, one thing that I really like to do is uh, whenever I make a virtual receptionist, I usually put other virtual receptionists within it, right? So if I say press one to learn more about our company, I'll connect it to another virtual receptionist, choose whichever one I want, and then I get access to a whole new menu that I can change and modify as I'd like. Within that second virtual receptionist, what I usually like to do is uh, play a recording, whether that's an audio file or a text-to-speech or a call to record recording, doesn't really matter. The point is, is that once they press that, that, that option, if they press one, it'll play the recording and it will either be my voice or the audio file or the text-to-speech. And that can really give a lot of context to the people that are looking for it. Here you can answer questions, uh, direct people with instructions, or just inform them about other uh, things. So if someone wants to hear your business hours, press one, then you have a call recording where uh, it, it, you just hear my voice saying, we're open on Monday through Friday, eight to five, and uh, hope to hear you then. If you call outside of those business hours, you'll get a different answer. Uh, so if you want to see that, test it out. And uh, then I can have uh, my business hours determine which, uh, which, which virtual receptionist I connect to. But there's a lot of freedom that you have in here. Now, star is always going to be repeat. Um, usually, I like to make pound to uh, get back to the main menu, where I will always have the original virtual receptionist that I made uh, as the option from star. Now, at any time within any virtual receptionist, if you type in an extension code, it'll go to that extension whether that's 101, whether that's 504, depending on, on 
how that, that uh, extension is set up. If you type in their extension code, it'll automatically route to that extension or phone number associated with it. Now, moving on, you've got a couple of options. If no one does anything, if the person calling doesn't do anything, you, it repeats three times and then it hang, and then you determine what it does. You can uh, repeat it up to five times. And uh, after, uh, after no response, uh, you can have it connect directly to an extension, a phone number, voicemail, or just hang up. That's really up to you. Uh, if you receive a fax to this phone number, you can decide where that fax goes by putting the email in here. You'll get a document, uh, I believe it's a PDF, in your email uh, from any fax that's uh, sent to you. Then you can also add another virtual receptionist. One really cool that idea, idea that I've been playing with is like a choose your own adventure game. I know Wendy's did something similar to that in the past. Um, and that might be a cool guerrilla marketing tactic that we use in the future. Um, right now you can set that up on your own if you'd like. I'll have another video for that as well. Uh, in the future, probably it's uh, kind of a complicated system. So that's gonna be more advanced uh, how to than this. But hopefully this gave you all the information you need on your virtual receptionists. Uh, if you have the freemium plan or the basic plan, you're only going to be able to utilize one virtual receptionist. The pro plan uses two and the premium has unlimited. So if uh, you think those things would be useful for you, it's probably wise to, to check it out and see which one works best for you. But at this point, you probably already have a, have a, a package and, and are just looking to learn how to set it up. So hopefully this has been informative for you. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. You can always reach me uh, either in the YouTube comments or in the description below. Uh, you have access to get my contact information and ask me any questions you'd like. Hopefully you have a great day and uh, I'll talk to you later. Garrett Hassel signing off.